What's up everyone? So back with another toolbox tour. This is the second one and this is the multicolor box. Yes, it's two different colors that have nothing to do with each other, red and white. But there's a good reason for that. That top box was only 300 bucks or something on sale at Harbor Freight. So it sits up there and it holds decent amount of stuff. So I got this way back before Harbor Freight had all the cool colors. Otherwise, I would have made it even more atrocious and had like a green box on a white box. But anyway, the bottom box is it's just a Mac Tech series with power drawer down in the corner down there. I don't really use it that much because it seems like a pain to have to bend over every time you need a battery. So I just keep the main chargers up top. So speaking of up top, up here, just got... Bluetooth speaker, uh, tablet, charger for 18650s, charger for the most useless battery impact ever, some snap-on giveaway stuff, and gloves and hats, and one of the coolest flashlights ever. I love this flashlight. I may do a review on that flashlight. Eh, I like that charger, the dual snap-on chargers real handy and that's really the only thing up there we got over on the side got a few chemicals and the hood prop uh, this is actually a 56 inch and the Mac is a 65 so there's a good bit of space and you also can see the difference of the depth between some of the bigger tool truck boxes in the Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freights are not very deep at all. And the biggest downfall, well there's two big downfalls of the Harbor Freight. One is that all the drawer pulls are on one side. And so if you're over here, you gotta reach all the way back over here to open the drawer. And the, uh, the other big one is, it looks like it was painted by a four year old. Like you can feel the bubbles you may even be able to see that. I like guess full of bubbles and orange peel and it's pretty much just fading and falling apart. But it still works for the time being until until I can get a better one. I gotta buy an AC machine next, so I'm probably not gonna be getting a box for a little while. So I'll just cover it in stickers until I can't see the paint anymore. But anyway, we'll start with the top drawer. Up here, I've got my snap-on fuel pressure tester, the fuel pump relay switchers, uh, compression tester, some disconnects. Yeah, I think that's really all that's up there. Yep. And over here, it's kind of like keep my gloves and wallet, my Glock 43. And then this is overflow from the roll cart of pliers so just like old strippers and crimpers and just different pliers I don't use every day like PWZ or as my coworkers say the Jesus pliers uh, got the snap-on snap ring pliers and just some odds and ends in here And this is just literally, literally the biggest junk drawer I have. But I use this drawer more than you would think. Got like some markers and different little adapters for my socket rails, paint pins, um, timing belt, grenade pins, random relays that probably don't work. Oh, there's the. Uh, Milwaukee 18 volt belt clip and whatever. Just a bunch of junk. Glues and adhesives and scissors and scrapers and whatever. Just a little bit of everything. Next one is, come on now, come on, we're gonna get there. Uh, power tools and air tools. We got the dinosaurs that are slowly dying over here in the corner. 
don't really use air in packs anymore. And then over here, we've got the air ratchet slowly dying. Can't even remember the last time I used one of those. I do use the die grinders a lot. We've got the right angle, the 45 and the straight. Got some drill bits and I think this has got like quick release, yeah, quick release drill bits. Got the, got some cheap angle adapter. Oh, here it is. The most useless 3 8 impact ever made. Like, I really think you could probably do better work with a, you know, I don't know, a monkey could probably take a bolt off faster than that thing. It's completely worthless. Although the air hammer's pretty good. I really like that. And of course, the Milwaukee, the older style 18 volt fuel drill, which that is definitely not worthless. That's really the only drill I'd ever have. And an old, old battery ratchet. Got some air hammer bits, drill bits, just thing adapters and things like that. And I got all my cookies and whatever. I, I know they have a name like deburring. What is it called? Carbide burr set. Anyway, it's something to break stuff with. Anyway, that's pretty much it for that drawer. I think we didn't get this one, but that's just got like more junk, like air tool grease and oil and the things to hold windows up and a oil filter cup that wouldn't fit anywhere else. Down here, got my UV light, other UV light, some glasses, safety glasses. This, that's for pulling the PCM out of a Volvo, and if you've ever tried to do that without that tool, yeah, that's ridiculous. Got some plastic pry tools, that's a timing tool for a Ford, and then some timing belt or holders. The socket for the water pump on the Cadillac North Star. Down here, got all my brake stuff, flaring tools. Uh, pad spreader, just drum brake stuff. Let's see what else. That's all the adapters and hoses for bleeding master cylinders. I think that's a seal driver. I don't think I've ever even used that. It just sits. Got the some more pad spreaders and got some brake grease. Uh, moving down. Over here, I keep all the like wobble allens and long torques, uh, impact torques, some um, inverted torques, more allens, some bits, just different like torques, and these are some them triple squares and half inch torques, and more triple squares and more triple squares and inverted torx wrenches and just random nonsense down there uh in the big drawer socket drawer this is like sockets i don't use every day but still use every once in a while got axle sockets half inch metric chrome like i should put that on that but then i wouldn't be able to pick it up and take it places so it just stays there impact sockets Half inch impact swivels, adapters, y'all know this stuff. Just your basic stuff, except for that's a snap on ratchet from the 40s. I think it's from 46. Over here, the, it's like flip sockets. One side just takes the lug nut off, another side takes the lug nut off after you screw it up. Back in the back, just standard stuff got 12 point standard the snap-on flank drive extra standard semi deep and that's some I think that's Mac shallow standard some more flip sockets oh those are astro pneumatic little SAE universals I think I've used them maybe once quarter inch snap-on standard Good old gray pneumatic 
quarter inch impact, some ratchets, the bendy ratchet that I thought was going to be wonderful and I never used, half inch ratchets, and some semi deep, quarter inch metric and standard, and I think that's really about it. Just some, the tool I don't ever need anymore since I have the new snap on brushless impact, half inch impact. Don't need that. That's for taking Honda crank bolts out. Don't need it anymore. Now it just sits. Oxygen sensor socket. Basic overflow. Things don't use every day, but still got to have them. Uh, next drawer is wrenches and a couple of really long pry bars that don't fit anywhere else. And I got these straight pry bars and they've actually come in really handy. But over here, starting on the left, got some snap-on line wrench or flare nut crow's feet. You know, the great... I've actually got two sets of these. One's in my roll cart, the spline long ratcheting offset ratcheting wrenches we've got the at a yard sale dave apparently didn't want it anymore so he, his wife sold it uh gear wrench ratcheting on one end non-ratcheting on the other some bigger metric wrenches snap on adjustables you know one day i'm going to find a use for these these are the Matco, I think Astro Pneumatic or something makes them, but they're the damage fastener wrenches. I don't think I've ever used them. Gear wrenches, just gear wrenches, little gear wrenches, big gear wrenches. Then just odds and ends of weird, and this is all the metric stuff in this drawer. So just odds and ends, like really old. I don't even don't think I've ever used that. Anyway, that's it for that drawer. Let's go back over here. And it's just oil filter tools and a random clutch alignment tool that I don't think I need. But it still sits there. And vice grips. And moving on. Uh one reason I can't stand this box is there's so many little skinny drawers so everything just kind of gets piled in just got different screwdrivers some old blue point bits and little bitty screwdrivers and plastic trim tools and even smaller screwdrivers monster I don't know why I put these in this drawer but that was the only place I could find you got the quarter inch on one side the bit on the other they come in handy every once in a while. We got a belt tool back there, some junk that O'Reilly's gives us. They're always giving us something green that is useless. That drawer, I just pulled a bunch of stuff out. Once again, it's one of the little narrow. I mean, I mean, what are you gonna put in there? Like if I set that like that, it's gonna hit. So it's just a broken ratchet and just some stuff I was trying to find a place for. That's going to be standard wrenches. I've got the, the Mac Precision Torque. And they're okay. They're not anywhere near as good as the Snap-on Plank Drive Plus, but they're all right. Just random stuff. Got a Sun-X, Tecton. I do like these Duralast wrenches that you get at AutoZone. Like, they're pretty good wrenches. I mean, it's a freaking solid wrench. That's a good wrench. That's actually for a little Mustang. That's for adjusting the lower control arms on that car. Uh, I already looked at that one. Saw that one. All right, some sort of specialty tools, I guess. Like the greatest power steering pump pulley puller and installer ever. That's just the best. Let's see. Worm. Yeah, that's the snap on. Yeah, that thing's awesome. That's the GM and Chrysler crank pulley remover. Yeah, that I see my 
employees have been in my bolts again. And then this kit is for the also for the power steering pump. The only thing I use on it is I think it's that one for installing the Ford pulley. And I got some punches and files and stuff. And then next drawers kind of I'm probably moving the next two drawers to that box and then find more stuff to put in here. This is kind of electrical stuff. It's got battery testers, like a wireless deal. Noid lights, I got the amp clamp for my scanner and just stethoscope and heat shrink and spark tester and crimpy things and solder holder. Then in the bottom drawer, this drawer, this is why I'm moving, is because it's all just too full. Got the, the thermal imager, the Elite. That thing's, that's a lot of fun. I don't know, I've used it on some stuff, and it's been handy wheel bearings, but, and um, like some electrical and AC, but it's actually just more fun to play with at night and see what you can find. And got the snap-on I forget what that's called it's a power probe made by snap-on pretty much the uh, fluke multimeter the adapters for all the adapters for the scanner we got more adapters more adapters more adapters power probe adapters torch let's see what else we got we got the green inspection scope and my scanner is actually in a car, but I've got the the Modus Edge, but it's not in there right now. It's actually in a car. Over here, suspension stuff. This tool right here by OTC. Like Harbor Freight and some other companies copy it, but they're just junk. They just break. The OTC one's the best. They've got some different pullers and seal pullers and windshield washer pullers or battery terminal. I use them for windshield washers. Just different stuff. Then down here i got some uh, fan clutch wrenches and rivet guns and a rubber mallet and cutters and different things like that. And the power drawer. Just two chargers. That's all I got in there. A couple chargers over here. got left hand drill bits, uh, twist sockets, re-threader, tap sockets, there's a couple taps over there. And then the bottom drawer, got some emery cloth, power steering, the, what's it called, evac kit, it's just a bleed power steering pumps. Got the, uh, old school cooling system refiller. Got the, what's that? That's a vacuum gauge. Go into your home. Go home. Go home. It doesn't want to go home. I need a bigger box. This is getting ridiculous. That's just a uh, pressure tester, cooling funnel, vacuum that's leak down tester in it yep leak down tester and i found this leak down tester for like 30 bucks on amazon or maybe ebay i forget who had it but it's the exact same one they sell on the mac truck for like 200 dollars. so i figured that would work it's a piece of junk but it was cheap and we'll eventually get the snap on that thing leaks and you have to mess with it for three hours and it's just not worth it but anyway, I believe that's everything. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. And when I'm finished setting that one up, that will be the final one. It's got a few things in it. Just a lot of doubles that I have, but we'll get to that at another time. But anyway, hello Mustang, still need to review you. We'll get around to you eventually. But that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, whichever. If you don't like the video, that's fine. Uh, comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and subscribe. And I'll keep making more videos about 
car stuff and tools and maybe we'll review a shot glass kit. Yeah, I don't even drink. I don't know what I'm, they just sit here. So they, all they'd ever do is sit on top of the toolbox. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later.